Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be going over an arguably the best creative maps you can use to improve at the fastest possible pace. Before we get into that, 51% of you guys watching are not subscribed and if you have been enjoying the content recently, consider subscribing and liking the video. Lastly, remember for every 1000 supporters we get on Code Marin TM, I'll be coaching one of you guys for a full tournament session and with that said, Let's get into today's episode. The first map we're taking a look at today is Raider 464's new mechanical practice map. And this map has done nearly everything right and will drastically help build consistency in your mechanics. The map has everything from different speed free building to edit effectiveness practice. This map is one that takes one hour to complete and if you ever want to be fully warmed up mechanically for a tournament, this should be your go-to. Talking about mechanics, we have to take a look at a map specifically designed for peace control. Because as we know, peace control is incredibly important when it comes to performing in Fortnite. And in my opinion, Raider464 has done this in the best possible way. He has made a map with 16 different scenarios for you to practice and perfect your peace control. And this is definitely a map you have to try out. So now you've got your mechanics and you've got good peace control. The next thing you need to practice is your aim. Because even with the best possible mechanics and peace control, you won't be able to do well in Fortnite without good aim. This is where Raider 464's Aim Dual Map V2 comes in handy. This is a map I play every single day and I can definitely say that my aim has at least become twice as good ever since I started playing this map. My favorite guns to use on the map is the tactical shotgun in either blue or gold, blue being more realistic for real game practice, whilst gold is just more fun to play in my opinion. And I also love using the P90 as it isn't a lot of bloom on the gun, meaning it won't really be randomness who wins the aim duel. Aiming is an arguably the single most important aspect of succeeding in Fortnite. And because of that, I want to go over another incredible aim map that goes by the name Skavak Aim Training. It's a map by a man called Don Vosi, and it will drastically help you with your tracking, click timing, overall precision, and smoothness when it comes to aiming. In every aiming video I have made recently, I always mention that you want to have a smooth grip, where you don't tense your arm. When you tense your arm when aiming, there is a lot more room for inconsistencies in your aim, compared to if you have a relatively loose and smooth grip on your mouse. I can't really emphasize how important it is to not over tense your arm, but as soon as you start practicing and playing with a smooth and relatively loose grip, I can guarantee that you will see major improvement in your aim. Alright, so now we're going to be taking a look at what, in my opinion, is the best free build and FFA map in the world. And I know a lot of people prefer the BHE map, but this map is, in my opinion, a lot better as it's an incredibly smooth map with beautiful colors. And it feels way better with less input delay. It's a creation by Lasiul89 and me and my friends go to map when it comes to FFA warmups. I also use this map when I simply just free build and try to learn new retakes and mechanical techniques. What I like doing on these kinds of maps is always just trying out new things that I know I'll most likely fail at, because this way I'm actually learning something new. If you do the same thing over and over, you're not really going to be effectively learning, but instead you're going to be playing more or less brainlessly. I don't spend too much time on these maps, but hopping into them for a good 30 minute session with around 5 other players is amazing warm up for tournaments. Moving on with the video, we have Abyssal's warm up map, and this is the best warm up map ever created in my very own opinion. If you only have 15 minutes before a tournament, hopping into this map and doing some peace control free building or some tracking practice is the best way to spend your time. This map has everything you need to get fully warmed up and is an overall great, simple and easy to use creation that I could recommend to anyone. Moving on to the next map, I want to talk about something that is going to sound ridiculous to everyone watching. 
but don't say anything about this before you actually try it. On this map, you want to lower your sensitivity by around 30% and complete one full run. And I do want to add that you should be careful here, as if you have too low of a sensitivity, it could potentially hurt your wrist and arm because of all the major movements you have to make. But if you do this at a course with a lower sensitivity and then go back to your main sensitivity, not only will you be more consistent in your edits, but you will also be faster. And this is nothing short of a win-win situation. So that is going to be it for today's episode everyone and I really can't describe how much playing creative maps have helped me in my career. Not only did Slappies and Mongrels edit course more or less start it, but I've also become a much much better player because of all the creative maps I've played through my 3 year journey. These creative maps are unarguably some of the best maps for improvement when it comes to competitive play. And if you really are serious about becoming good and have the time and energy to put effort into becoming good, then playing some of these maps on the daily will drastically help you on the way there. I also want to mention before I end today's video that all of the support, comments, likes and new subs recently have been absolutely incredible and I just want everyone watching to know that you guys make me the happiest man alive and I cannot thank you enough for sticking with me, watching the videos and just generally speaking being an amazing bunch of people. Tomorrow I'll post a video on me and my trio's cash cup so be on the lookout for that and as you know my name has been Marion TM. Stay safe and take care.